Oh my god. Something crazy has been happening up in this house. I am just absolutely just, oh, oh. I'm not feeling good because I just thought of it again. Either there's a thief in my house or the supermarkets behind it all. I did a little research. I found out this big conspiracy goes even deeper than I thought it would. Your local grocery store might be hiding stuff from you and it's up to you to uncover the truth. I came home after work just like every other normal average American citizen or other citizens in other countries. I was so darn hungry I could have ate a mountain. I was laying around being all bored. Stomach was literally asking me questions and texting me, hey, you got some food? Then I remembered, yes, yes I do. I remember I have some food in the El Frigidor, the ref refrigerator. I sprung into action, ran to the fridge. To my surprise, I was not disappointed when I saw that yellow emitting light from the Swiss cheese. Now I, just like everybody else in the world, love Swiss cheese. I, don't, I can't think of a single person who hates it. Not even one. Try me. Upon looking at the cheese, I discovered it was missing chunks out of it. There were holes in the cheese. Was it a mouse? No. Because it was in the package. I believe the grocery store robbed me and I want reparations. It's theft and it's not right. But there is a way to solve this problem. With a little bit of determination and some ingenuity, we can have normal cheese again. Normal, delicious Swissin. First thing you wanna do is look at your packaging. Right here, 10 slices of the Swiss. Take your package, get, get her open. You got the cheese. Now you'll see immediately what I'm talking about. Look at this. Those cheesesteaks, they robbed us. They took what we have purchased. I'm not gonna stand for it. So what you wanna do is get some slices out. Like right here, that is, that is a fixable piece. All right, so you're gonna need one piece like this. Probably one of the ones that's most ruined. Start filling in these holes. Take your cheese. Boom. Where's the hole? Exactly. All right, then you just wanna just throw that away. Like this one has holes in it too. So, get this, get our piece. Let's make sure it looks better than this. Oh yeah. All right, let's finish repairing this cheese over here. It's looking, I mean, it's coming along. You wouldn't really be able to tell that you're wasting any cheese. You know, Swiss people created cheese. Wow, that, that is beautiful. I gotta say, I'm gonna hang this one up probably. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is tight. Look at this delicious, this piece. Ergonomically beautiful. Oh yeah, this is, it is so sturdy now. Look, you're not gonna lose any extra cheese bits. Look at the comparison between these two pieces of cheese. Which one has more and which one has less? Exactly, yes, it's this one. And you can just, with all these extra scraps, you can just throw these away. And just like that, you have a perfect cheese for your sandwich. Or just for eating. For later. Mm. Now I know for a fact some of you people out there on the internet are going to tell me, hey, Science did this. Science knows what's wrong. They're gonna say something like this. Bacteria did it. <laughs> Bacteria isn't real. Do I know how they're doing it? No. Do I know they're doing it for sure? 100%. Be a vigilante. Don't let your cheese get stole. And don't let them make you feel down about yourself just because you want full pieces of cheese. You're worth it. You're real worth it. 
My name is Brandon Fleming. This channel is It's Plain Awesome. And I really want you guys to just like this, share it, etc. Follow me on Twitter. That's a thing I do now. I need the followers in order to actually write stuff on there, I think. Please, if you're if you're still here, look at all these other videos that I have here because I put a lot of work into them clearly. It takes me at least three, five, seven days to make even a two minute video. It's very, very meticulous work. Thank you for your support, I-L-Y. And thank you for, for all of it. Yeah, thank you for all of it. They'll try to keep us down, but I won't frown. In fact, I'm going downtown to get more brown. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> This smells so bad. <laughs> I knew it was gonna fall, but at the same time I was not prepared for that. <laughs>